Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. I will be coming out of the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. I will be reading verses 21 through 23. I will be doing this reading out of the King James Version of the Bible. Tell ye and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it from that time? Have not I, Yahuwah? And there is no God else besides me, a just God and a Savior. There is none besides me. Key verse, verse 22. Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. So we can see without a shadow of a doubt, Yehoah is speaking of himself. Yehoah is not talking about a Mashiach. He is not talking about his only begotten son as according to the New Testament. Because I'm going to share this again. When you see Lord in all caps in the Hebrew manuscripts, that is the Yo, the He, the Wa, the He. That is the, the, the um, tetragrammaton, tetragrammaton, the four letter name. That is the name of the creator there. It's not Lord. It's not referring to Jesus, Yahabashai, Yahushua, Yeshua, Yahusha, wherever you feel comfortable calling them, is talking about the Creator Himself. That is His name there. And when He says, Look unto me, Yehovah is telling you to look unto Him. He did not say, Look unto my Mashiach. He didn't say, Look unto my only begotten Son, Jesus. Let's not change the text to fit. What you may believe. Yehoah is telling his people to look towards him. For he is God. He is our savior. And besides him, there is no other. So my brothers and sisters, just be honest with the text. I do not care about how you believe this scripture to refer to Yeshua because you believe it with all your heart or you feel a peace in your heart with the interpretation of this text. None of that matters. Your comfort level in your interpretation does not change the reality of what the text say. Yehovah is telling us to look unto him, to look to him. It says here, look unto me. Yehovah said, look to him and be saved. This would have been a great opportunity for Yehovah to say, look unto my Mashiach who will come in the future and be saved. But that's not what he says. Our faith has to line up with the text. We cannot allow our faith to twist the text to line up with what we believe. Our faith should line up with the text. Our faith shouldn't change it. Peace.